technically, ultralight refers to the base weight of all of your equipment. Base weight is everything except for your consumables, your water, your food, and your fuel. And when that base weight is below 10 pounds, you fall into the ultralight category. But a lot of people use ultralight as as light as you possibly can go, but still be safe, comfortable, and have fun when you go backpacking. So I started out as a traditional backpacker with good quality, but very robust and durable equipment um, that comes at a cost, not financially, but uh, as far as it's, it's just heavy. And after going on a few trips with a backpack anywhere between 40 to 50 pounds, I realized there's got to be a better way uh, because the trips were not quite as fun if you're completely exhausted and you get to your campsite wanting to drop your backpack the second you get there. The biggest challenges with ultralight backpacking come with expense. Uh, a lot of ultralight gear can be pretty pricey. Um, in order to keep equipment good quality and functioning well, uh, it, it requires lighter weight materials that cost more. The other thing is um, you can go too light and end up not taking the right amount of equipment that you need and now you're in the realm of safety being an issue. So there are ways around those negative things. Also carrying the right amount of equipment so you're not what's considered stupid light, uh, where you're putting yourself in danger. What makes it worth those the time and effort to put a good kit together is the comfort and enjoyment of carrying it on your back. The whole point of backpacking is to put in some miles. And if your pack is light, you can hike further and go further into the backcountry and see more. The best piece of advice I can give to someone who is interested in ultralight backpacking is to buy a scale, just normal kitchen scale, and weigh everything, weigh all your equipment write it down what everything is and how much it weighs and it'll be eye-opening to how heavy your stuff actually is the second thing is to make a list of all the things that you really need versus the things that you want and when you go on trips when you come home make a couple of piles of your gear when you're putting everything away make a pile of the gear that you used and a pile of stuff that you didn't use and after two or three trips you will notice that that pile of stuff you didn't use it's pretty much, it stays the same. There's equipment that you bring that you never touch. And the best way to save weight on your pack is to leave that stuff home. The only thing that I carry that I don't use every trip is a first aid kit. Other than that, everything I carry, I use every single trip. It's just the minimum. I'm not out there to play with a bunch of toys. I'm out there to hike and to sleep and to enjoy the social aspect with my family and friends. Um, I also had a friend <clears throat> who, in trying to go lightweight, made his own raincoat out of uh, like a painter's suit. He just cut the legs off and, you know, comes with a hood. It's a pullover and it's water resistant and it weighed just a couple of ounces. It was really light, but when it came down hard, when the rain came down hard, uh, he got soaked. So for me, my setup changed considerably over the last few years. I used to carry a backpack that was about 90 liters in volume, and that was to carry all of my equipment. Well, because I don't bring as much stuff, now I have a backpack that's about 50 liters. I also transitioned from a tent to a hammock, which to me, in this, compared to the tent I was carrying, is significantly lighter. And for me personally, it's more comfortable. Not everybody's comfortable in a hammock. I'm more comfortable in a hammock. Just things like that. The, the clothing that I bring is more lightweight, but still enough layers to keep myself warm. And I also dress in layers, and I only bring the layers I think I'm gonna need for that trip. Hey, dummy, get in here. <laughs> the only thing I take that might be considered a luxury item is a folding stool. So I, I carry a stool that weighs a little over a pound. That's a luxury item to me but it still doesn't weigh my pack so much that it makes it uncomfortable. I barely notice my backpack on my back. Um, by lightening the weight on my pack, I'm able to go further and spend more time out in the woods without it being such an overwhelming burden. I can climb mountains. I uh, 
previously would be too challenging, as well as go further in some of the wilderness that we have. One of the coolest things I've done was climbing Mount Tipinogos. It is over 11,000 feet at the very top of the mountain, and this is above the tree line. At the very top of the mountain is a, a metal shed. What'd you find, Daniel? What's this? A little shelter. Yeah? Yeah. It's kind of cozy inside? No, it's creepy in there. And I was able to set my hammock up in that shed and sleep there all night. I had mountain goats coming into the shed to say hello. And I was able to eat my dinner up there watching the sunset on one side of the mountain and uh, wake up just before sunrise and watch the sunrise from my hammock. It was amazing. The other thing is every year I go on a trip with my dad and uh, with my brother Jeff and his son Braden. Uh, and that's really a trip I look forward to every year. It's so much fun to go with those guys. And we usually take a three day trip. Um, we spent a couple of, of uh, trips in the UNS. We went to Capitol Reef and hiked in this wide, amazing tall slot canyon for a couple of days. And then we also went to California to uh, Big Basin Redwoods State Park um, and Castle Rock. And we hiked the Skyline to the Sea Trail where you park your car at either end and it's a 30 mile trip where you start up in the hills and you hike down to the ocean. It, that trip was so cool. Um, I've never been on a backpacking trip that long where halfway through you stop at like a gift shop and you can eat ice cream sundae uh, as part of your trip. So that was pretty fun. You kind of felt like a through hiker, even though you weren't hiking nearly as many miles, but it was fantastic. And to be honest, if we were carrying traditional packs, we would have been so much more exhausted. It was a long trip and we were pretty beat by the time we got to the beach, but carrying light backpacks helped a lot for sure.